Caroline, so excited for you! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the, the Epic, Epic Family, Family Road, Road Trip. Trip. Wow. Yeah. Now that you can get like three pounds for five bucks. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. uh, uh, not a I mean, like, oh, yeah. 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 Where it's a nice little mountain we're gonna climb. This is a great hike. We did it years ago. Um, I don't think anyone here has done it yet. Just me and Dan. So this will be a fun first experience for everyone. And it's quite the uh, canoe ride across the lake. It's a beautiful view of the mountain as we go. And it's another pristine lake in this area. So it's, it's really fun. Um, the guy said it'll be, take about six hours to do the whole thing. And we came in a little late, so we'll see. We'll, I think everyone here is pretty active and fit, so we'll be able to get her done in a lot better time than what they're saying. A lot of fun. How was that canoe ride, Dan? Uh, that was awesome. It's a bit longer than I remembered, but yeah. I mean, for a three-person canoe, the rest is awesome, especially in this wind. Wow. Oh, the cool breeze coming from in between. Such a beautiful hike. We're starting our ascent. It's a long walk up to the mountain itself and then uh, just climbing up here you come across this rock it looks like all dolomite and quartz as we go it's these this mountain range is all known for its white shining peak and uh, all these rocks are of the just beautiful white quartz and I guess dolomite I read that somewhere that this was what this all was it's one of the oldest mountain ranges in uh, Canada I think it's got this rounded out mountain would have been a big old beautiful peak back in the day and it's got weather worn and worn down but it's made out of such tough rock that it just rounded out beautifully and became this white topped mountain surrounded by pristine lakes it's a really special hike wow oh, look at this view boys Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I feel dizzy. Beautiful. Oh. Green screen. Some massive green screen in front of us. Awesome. We all made it to the top. Such an epic hike. You get the best view ever when you're up here. It's literally a view of a uh, hundred lakes. Look at how much forest we're looking at right now. We're um, making our way back because we kind of want to camp tonight. We're still, we're deciding. We, the original plan was to camp at a nice um, lake, like we can portage into it and camp there for the night with all the boys. And uh, it still sounds like we're gonna do that, so we're kind of. What time is it? It's like it's almost seven o'clock. Yeah. Sun sets at nine or nine thirty, so we're just uh, making our way back. Got a long canoe ride, but it's it's relaxing after such a great hike. That was a lot of fun. How was the canoe ride, guys? It was good. Awesome. Beauty. Great. <laughs> Don't talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Might fill the video up. <laughs> Where they need to be for the next day, it was time for a final Zoom call with the team at X Overland. 
going over all the details in preparation for the big trip ahead. All right, so the time has come. Uh, we're leaving the beautiful island. The time we had here seemed to go by in a flash. Uh, it's a long, a long time away from the whole family, but uh, I think it's going to be an amazing experience. We just finished packing up the bags. We're going to be, you know, leaving the island. Uh, we're closing everything down for at least a week um, when our parents come back, and we're going to be heading over to. Toronto to catch our flight and then flying into Norway which is it's crazy that this is all happening within the next few days because I you know when we first arrived here I knew I had about two months to really enjoy the island which I, I think I've done but um, yeah the time just crept up so fast and now is the time for the actual adventure and uh, I'm super excited for it. Uh, we got pretty close with all the wood getting it all done and, um... It's, it's all stacked up, we got most of it split, and what we didn't get split or what was too small and knotty to split in short order is piled up there by the trees. So we're just taking all the equipment, the axes and splitters and putting them in inside now to store them for the time we're gone. So this is it, that feeling of pure excitement and anticipation for all of the unknowns and things to come in the next few months and everything that these incredible countries that we're gonna be venturing into have in store for us. I am so excited for the epic adventure that we're about to go on, but also to learn as much as I can about the Nordic countries and about Scandinavia, because I've always had a deep fascination with the rich history and culture and the majestic landscapes and terrain and wildlife, which I am also very excited to try and capture. I'm very excited about this upcoming trip. It's going to be the adventure of a lifetime. As some of you may know, um, years ago we, when we were in Newfoundland, we visited a place called Lanso Meadows, which is where Leif Erikson and uh, Le where Leif Erikson first landed, the first European settlement in North America, the first people to travel there, which was r a really amazing experience. And ever since then, I have become very interested in. Uh, you know, learning the history of the Nordic people and the Vikings, and uh, this is the Nordic expedition. We get to go travel to their ancestral homeland and probably be able to see where Leif Erikson came from in Iceland. So it'll be a really cool, amazing trip. Um, as far as up north, we've got a lot of the preparations done. A lot of the projects that we started, we have finished or just about nearly finished. The wood is done. Um, I mean, we're still going to end up splitting a bunch of it when we get back, but uh, it's all stacked up. We've got a couple cords split, and uh, our project with the cooler rooms is bigger than we first anticipated. We got the one room that's under the cookhouse really good. It's cool all the time. I always go in there and check it out. It's really nice. But the cooler cabin itself is definitely more of a project than we thought. It's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. So it's um, in a good position for when we get back to be able to wrap it up. And everything else, uh, the food prep and all that, mom and dad will be able to do while we're gone. I'm not too worried about anything. It's going to be a, a great couple months. I'm going to miss Lana, though, and miss the family, of course. There's nothing like uh, being on the island as a family, spending quality time every evening, all day, really, just doing projects out in the woods and on the cabins and then just relaxing together. It's a real privilege, and that's why I love it. That's why I can't say I'm sad to leave, but there, you know, you always miss something. Yeah, it'll be a great trip though. We look forward to it, and I hope uh, mom and dad have, I hope mom and dad have uh, as much fun on their epic trip to Tuk Tuk Tuk. Be really cool. We'll probably be, uh, I mean, we're gonna be pretty close to each other, in both parts of the poles at some point. We may not end up being there at the exact same time. By the time we're in Nordcap, which is the top of Norway, as far north as you can drive there in Europe, they'll be in Tuk 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 as far as you can drive here, and uh, we'll be pretty close just across the pole. So it's gonna be awesome.
Alright, we are downtown Toronto. Uh, it's a far cry from being up at the island. It's uh, busy and hectic and lots of people, but we're in the search for some sleeping bags um, for, the, for the kids that are heading to uh, Scandinavia. By the time they leave in, in September, it's going to be pretty cold in places like Iceland, way up north where they're going. So we need um, sleeping bags that have a much colder temperature, like minus 18 Celsius or, or more. So the ones we left in Montana for the trip just wouldn't cut it for that kind of temperature. So that's why we're in a kind of a last minute search. And uh, we were in Canada, it's called MEC. It's a co-op very similar to REI. And we went to the store up north of here and they only had one in the long version. So um, we need the long one, six foot plus all three kids. So um, apparently they have two downtown here. So that's what we're doing right now, fighting our way through traffic. And we'll see what we can come up with. spent the night here in the hotel kind of getting organized and packing and repacking making sure the kids have their stuff in order and uh, now we're gonna be heading down to the airport shortly we have to pick up a few more things uh, for the trip here in town and then uh, it's time to go to the airport but Lando can tell something's going on right buddy yes you can he's just sitting there wondering what's going on and you're drooling are you drooling what are you drooling for buddy you wondering why uh, everybody's here at the hotel it's not normal is it wondering why we're not at the lake but anyway yep a few more things and then uh, the kids are heading on their way Before heading to the airport, we stopped in to pick up some packages that we had delivered to my brother's place and to say goodbye to his wonderful family. Bye, Love you. Love you. Group hug, he said. His son Weston <laughs> took the time to show us his incredible bulldozer and to race the Jeeps down the driveway. Ready? Oh no, you're beating Vandy! Oh, he right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Wes. You Bye, won. Wes. Bye, Wes. Yay. Of course, we stopped for Tim Hortons before they go. Last stop, and for two months or so. Love you. Thanks Bye, Caroline. You. So excited for you. Cool. <laughs> 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 there they go. You're gonna have a blast. All right. 
but the kids are at the airport. They've uh, they just texted. Everything went well. They checked in, um, and they're just waiting by the gate now, grabbing something to eat. So that's really good news. We're happy about that. Uh, next stop will be in uh, Heathrow Airport in England, and then a quick hop to Norway. In the back, you can see Carol's just dropping the blue jeep off here, off here at my brother's place uh, until the kids get back, and then they're gonna take that up and meet us at the island. So probably uh, my brother or one of our many uh, cousins, family members here in this area, will drive down to the airport and pick them up, and then they'll uh, probably stay overnight and then jump in the jeep and come up. So that's it. We're empty nesters now. Uh, we're jumping in one vehicle again we haven't done that since oh man since over a year ago in BC and uh, so we're excited the kids are gonna have a blast they're just gonna have such a good time there and we're gonna have a great time ourselves just uh, spend probably a bit of time up at the island alone which will be different and then uh, hit the road up to the great uh, the great white north the Arctic Circle and then on to the Arctic Ocean and uh, that's gonna be an awesome adventure. We're, we can't wait to take you with us every step of the way. Now it's just the three of us. All right, we made it back up to the island. Um, did about a four and a half hour drive to get here. The kids are now somewhere heading to Europe across the pond. And uh, it's just me, Carol, and Lando up here. It's really quiet. <laughs> we'll get used to it, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's definitely different um, being separated from the kids. So it's, it's a natural thing and it's uh, someday it'll be uh, for longer, a longer time, that's for sure. But uh, something 
we're thankful we have the privilege of easing into the idea um, through these different uh, expeditions that the kids are on with X Expedition Overland. And uh, for them, it's an incredible experience. They learn so much on these trips. Um, first of all, they get, get to see amazing places. Um, you know, exploring the coast of Norway, that's something that's been on our list for a long time. So the fact they can go do that with uh, the XO team. So for them, the training is just amazing. So as parents, we're very proud of the kids and very happy for them to have this opportunity. And uh, I think we're just gonna pull up one of these chairs, watch the sun go down and have a good night's sleep.